Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Hopefully you watched the joy pouring with Cy Frost. If you missed it, I'll throw a link in the description so you can watch it at your leisure. Okay, on the train today we should have had Tazzy up first from Tazlima Maya Art. Then you've got me, Darren, at Venom Fluid Art. Um, after me we've got Christy from Creations by Christy. Then we go to Shannon from Shambi Fluid Art. After Shannon, we go to Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. And after Bubbles, we go to the Hippy Dippy Painter Man. Okay, so stay on board. We'll have some fun. Right, what I'm going to do today for you is have a little bit of a play with um, some different Selectivator effects that you can get. So this is a hexagonal tile. It's only a little dude, about four, four and a half inches, five inches, something like that. Throw down some pillow paint, which is British Paints Low Sheen. It's all I use for the pillow. Um, all right, we're going to throw some colours down. So first colour up is a Pebio that I've made up. It used to be red, now it's like a ready purpley blue. Alright, so we'll put heaps of that down. Then I'm going to go with a fluorescent green, which is grunge by this little piggy. Then I might put down a quinacridone magenta. A sky blue that I've made up. That's a a mix of all different Perlex um, pigments. Neon Purple, which is actually a tube paint. It's Byron. And I've mixed in some LBB resin fluoro pigment to it. Alright, put some of that down. Alright, so... What we're going to do is move that back to the middle because it's running away on me. I'm going to get some white cell activator, which is titanium white by Amsterdam. Mixed with Australian flow troll, roughly about two and a half, three to one. So I'm going to put some on that side. This one's lamp black, Amsterdam. About the same consistency, two and a half, something like that. All right, so we've got half and half. Grab my little mini blower. Start from the center. Fluff it out. Like that. Now, because that cell activator is thick, it takes a while to sink compared to when it's thinner. The thinner it is, the quicker it sinks. But your cells don't hold up real good the thinner you go with it. So, you're better off to leave it a little bit thicker and have some patience. So what I'm going to do is grab my little straw, give it a blow.
That was fun. All right. I'll tilt that so you can still see it. Oops. It's all good. All right, so. <laughs> that made my freckle twitch. <laughs> Gravity. It's a wonderful thing. All right, so. Because we use two different cell activators, half of it's black, half of it's white. Give that a spin. Okey dokey. So we'll pop that up. Give underneath a bit of a scrape. All right. I'll come around this side. So you can mix and match how you get crazy patterns just by where you lay your cell activator down. Half you're going to have more lacing, half you're going to have more cells. And where it mixes in the middle, you're going to have white rings around your cells. Alright, I might press pause for a second and grab another tile to do. Okie dokie. This one I figured we'd go something a little bit bigger. Use pretty much the same colours. Just maybe... Throw some pink in this time. Why not, he says. Alright, so... Pillow paint's already down. That's an 8 inch MDF round. I've rounded the edges over so it goes bloop bloop. It flows over the edge easy. Now this pink here is Day Glow by Barnes. Neon pink. Because I've just run out of groovy. So we'll put some of that down first. <coughs> we might go a Southern Ocean Blue. <coughs> Excuse me. Still dying with Rona. Gotta love it. Okay, so there's the blue. We'll put some quinacridone magenta down. Love this colour. It's so pretty. Um, I think we might go the lighter blue. into the middle I might put down this time some black cell activator there little dot there little dot there little dot there little dot there then I'm going to grab my purple 
and put some purple in over the black dots like that. I think we'll neon green this one. So we'll put some neon green on top. Then we'll get the white selectivator this time. And see what we come up with. Always pays to experiment when you're putting cell activator down. You get some weird and wacky different things that pop up really unexpectedly by where you place it. So sometimes it works really good, other times not so much. So let's see. Okay. Help if it was level. It's all good. Grab my straw, give it a bit of a blow. Okay, I think we might leave it at that. I'm going to grab my skewer, if I hadn't have lost it. Where are you? There he is. Okay, so this one's going to have loads of crazy white lacing by the looks of it. So I want to put some trippy patterns around the outside edge all I'm doing is going backwards and forwards dragging color through different places now as you can see the um, white cell activators taken on the fluoro green it started to absorb it So it'll give a cool pattern as well. So we'll just scrape some of this stuff off here. Put this one down. All right, we'll give that a spin. It's not quite in the middle. But that's cool because I want it to move around somewhere else. I want that to move over there a bit. Like that. All right. So now I'm going to... Use my fingers to move it. Bugger it. 
Okay. So, put that there. Let's get rid of some of this paint off here. Now, before I spin that out any further, I'll just... Put a couple of little extra patterns through. Like that. Let me drag some of that up into there. Down there. Alright. Give that a bit of a spin. So by putting the cell activator, the black one, down in different places you'll get dark patches in your colors as it blows out. Okay, we'll let that just spin out. Don't go crazy, just let it do its thing. Go a little bit by a little bit, and it will be fine. So I'm just going to torch a couple of bubbles. Okay, we'll pop that one up. Scrape off underneath. That way you've got no drips dragging it off. Okay. So. And that is what we get. So you're going to have dark patches like through here where them five dots of cell activator was just gives it a bit more of a 3d depth when the colorful lacing's over the top all right guys i hope you like that one so up next we've got Christy from Creations by Christy. If you click on her name in the title of this video, it'll take you to her YouTube page. If you're in the live chat, just click on the links that I'm putting in there for everybody and it'll take you directly to her video. So that's the easy way to do it. Just click on the links in the chat and you'll end up there straight away. That way you don't get lost and have to go looking. All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, don't forget to watch everybody else on the train. If you miss any, I'll have the links in the description anyway, and you can just go back and watch them whenever you get a chance. So, all right, that's it for me. Have fun, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.